Kalmogor of Complexity using Prolog number two. This is uh, also continuing the Deconstructing Dembski series. Okay, first thing what we want to do is we want to go over the solution set to homework number three. Actually, it was the second homework I've given. I don't know why I can't count, but uh, just in case you're wondering. So, but first of all, let's go to the honor roll. Again, I was just completely amazed at how many people actually submitted homework for this. And uh, I know more people actually did the homework than actually submitted solutions. Or if you ever tried around, I, I really appreciate all the effort that you guys are putting in on there. So, congratulations very much. And yet, it gets even better. If I have to, I can do anything. I am strong. Thank you so much, Rosie Desire. You are actually helping us to even out the uh, demographic imbalance here. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and do these uh, homeworks here really quick. I, I assume you had no trouble uh, getting it installed and setting it up. Um, so the first question asks you just to type in this word, trace, and hit return and see what it printed out, just to make sure you got it installed correctly. And yeah, <laughs> this is a nice literary uh, reference to uh, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and uh, I'm, I'm sure it gave you a chuckle on your face. Okay, the second question was a little more tough. Um, first thing you had to do is you had to type in this. Use library, uh, excuse me, use module. I can't type. Library, C-O-P-R. Okay, this was the most mysterious thing. You really had to just take this one on faith, right? But once you've typed it in, you can do some cool stuff. Okay, so the, the first part of the question asks you to solve this set of equations. We had x plus y equals 2. And then we had 2 times x plus 3 times y equals 1. And uh, it's just as simple as that. And the second part asks you to, to solve this uh, set of equations, which was 4. Two. And that's it. Okay, so common mistakes. Uh, if you do say lowercase x here, you get an error because this isn't a variable. This is a variable. The, the other one is not a variable. Okay. Also, multiplication isn't implicit. Okay. This so this is this isn't going to work, right? You have to actually explicitly put in these stars here for times uh, when you're using uh, when you're using prolog, and then then it will work. Okay. So that's basically uh, all the all the uh, the homework questions.